Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see some examples related to matrix addition and scalar multiplication of matrix. So let's say, let's take an example. In this example, let us say we have two matrices given to us. Matrix A is 1, negative 2, 0, and 3. And matrix B is negative 3, 4, 2, and 1, like that. And then in here, we want to do the following things. Let us say A. We want to achieve 3 times A, 3 times matrix A. And in the second part, we want to achieve uh, this type of an equation, 3x plus a is equal to b. In here we want to, in this particular problem, we want to solve for the matrix x like that. Okay, so let's try this. The first example here, we have 3 times matrix A. 3 is a scalar quantity and the matrix A we have here is 1, negative 2, 0, 3, isn't it? So the way we can write this one out is as follows. The number 3, which is out, the scalar quantity, which is outside of the matrix, will be distributed to every one of the terms inside, inside this matrix. It will be distributed to every one of the elements inside, inside this matrix. So the way we, can, we do it is as follows. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9. So we have successfully distributed the scalar quantity to every one of the elements inside the matrix. Let's look at the second uh, um, part of this example. In here, we want to solve for x, solve for x, and then let's write that down one more time. 3 times matrix x plus matrix A is equal to matrix B. Isn't this very similar to a, an algebraic equation? I'm going to write it in a different color you, so you can see that. 3x plus A is equal to B. We want to find the value of x, so what, what do we do? We subtract A on both sides, so we can have 3x is equal to B minus A, like that. Since we want to find the value of x, we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. Therefore, x equals to 1 over 3 times b minus a, like that. Right? Therefore, we can use exactly the same thing in here as well. In here, we're going to, we can rewrite this one as matrix x is going to be equal to 1 over 3, matrix b minus matrix A. It is very similar to solving an algebraic equation. First we will simplify the terms in here or we can we can put it all together and then we can do it as follows. Matrix X is going to be equal to 1 over 3 and now I'm going to write matrix B which is negative 3, 4, 2, 1 and then we want to subtract matrix A from this 1, negative 2, 0, 3 and then when we do that this is what is going to result this is going to be 1 over 3 and then we are going to the way we are going to add or subtract the matrices is we are going to combine the corresponding row column uh, uh, row column location to row column location of the next matrix so therefore, in the first row, first column, we have negative 3 in the first matrix, and first row, first column, in the second matrix, we have 1, and therefore we can write this one as negative 3 minus 1, because there is a negative sign here. And then we keep going, negative 3 minus of minus 2, that is the second, first row, second column. In the second row, first column, we have 2 minus 0. And in the second row, second column, we have 2 minus 3. 
we have all the elements now and therefore we can simplify this as follows 1 over 3 let me write this one more time this is 1 over 3 times negative 3 minus 1 is going to be equal to negative 4 and then uh, negative 3 plus negative 3 plus 2 okay let's uh, trace back our steps and see something in here negative 3 um, negative 3 minus 1 we got that and then this should be sorry about that this should be 4 minus of minus 2 and then 2 minus 0 and then we have 1 minus 3 this should be this should be 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 okay we got the corresponding um, row columns to corresponding row columns of the second matrix now when we when we simplify this this part of the elements it's going to be as follows negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4 4 uh, negative times negative is a positive 4 plus 2 is a 6 and then 2 minus 0 is 2 and then 1 minus 3 is negative 2 so now since we have all of that information we need to distribute this 1 over 3 which is a scalar quantity to every one of the elements inside the matrix and the way we can achieve that is as follows so uh, one third times negative 4 will be negative 4 over 3 one third times 6 will be 6 over 3 and then one third times 2 will be 2 over 3 and one third times negative 2 will be negative 2 over 3 and uh, we can simplify this some more um, as you can see negative 4 over 3 we'll leave it as a fraction 6 over 3 is 2 isn't it so that is the only part which simplifies in here and then in in the second row first column and then second row second column we will leave those as fractions and this is how we are able to uh, we are able to arrive at the value of x we have solved uh, if we have solved for x uh, which is uh, and in this case this time x is a matrix and it has elements within it in the past we, when we solved an algebraic equation we just solved for x and that value was a, a number and in this case we have a, a matrix and then the matrix has some elements within it this is the way we can use um, matrix addition and scalar multiplication of matrices to be able to achieve the results in my next presentation we shall look at some more properties and then see how we can apply those property properties to solve simple examples